Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday Night Thrift Hall. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time to show you what we have thrifted, picked up yard selling, found on the side of the road. We didn't find any roadside finds. Well, we did, but not this That'll time. be next week. Um, and we tell you what we paid for it and what we're going to sell it for. If you guys are wanting to shop along, everything is listed at jamierayvintage.com. Just click Saturday Thrift Hall. It's all there. But Caitlin is on here as well, dropping links and answering questions. So we're going to go ahead and get started. All right. Right off the bat, this lamp had like an ugly plastic shade. But the actual lamp is really cool. And we don't ship shades. We ship lamps without shades. Occasionally we ship shades. Very I feel rarely. like you need to be very careful when you say ship shades. You can say that too fast. Yeah, you could thing. get in trouble. Um, this one was $7. It's going to be $49.95. It's a mid-century lamp. I looked it up, but apparently very popular. Are we going to paint it? Nope. I'm just going to leave it. We're not going to paint the mid-mod? Hey, if it doesn't sell, it's getting the brush. But I'm going to give people a minute. Gotta give them a minute. Okay. I'm gonna put the non-painted stuff over here this week. We're not gonna show it because we've already showed it off. Well, actually, we could. Do you want to show them that trunk? That trunk just sold. Oh, the trunk sold. Yeah. So the trunk was actually from a few weeks ago. And I think we paid like ten dollars for it, but then we did like No, I think know. I got it last I guess it was two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago, and we paid ten dollars for this trunk. We painted it up this week already and listed it up on the website, and it just sold for 120. $129.95. We used one of the new stencils. In case you didn't know, the new JRV stencils and Christmas rice paper were released this week. And this is one of the stencils. Here, I'm going to see if I can bring it close without dropping it and breaking everything on the table. <laughs> and we even painted the bottom. There we go. Okay. All right, let's keep going. So next up, we have this really cool um, shelf. I actually think the shelf might have sold. I'm not sure. Maybe not. Okay. So this is like a chippy white shelf. It does need to be a little bit clean. but It needs to dry erase for sure. It's in good condition. We paid $5 and it's going to be $42.95 somewhere. $42.95. I like the hooks on it. It's right there. $42.95. Okay, so $42.95 on that. And I like the hooks and I like the corbels on the side. I like that it's chippy. So we'll just clean it up so that way it looks new again. And I've been in, I should apologize for my voice. I, in the last... 48 hours, I've been to four football games and I have no voice. It's like, <laughs> and my niece Gentry is in town. And so I've been talking to her and I don't usually talk this much. So. No, not usually. No, when I'm not, I actually am more quiet than people. Actually, assume. yes, you are. <laughs> when they're, when I don't have somebody like visiting, I just. Right, show them this shelf to too, and then we can get the shelves out of your way. Okay. So this was $5. It's going to be painted and it'll be $29.95. Just a wooden top, embossed metal shelf. These always look super good painted. Sometimes we dark wax them. Right the now, side. like the paint job's not the worst thing ever, but it's it looks like it's like sprayed on copper. With sponge. When you get finish. close. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that. All right. Well, let's show these pictures. I know the yellow striped picture sold. This one's really fun. So um, it was two dollars at the thrift store. It's, it was nineteen ninety five. It's got it's gone. Um, as far as I can tell and see, it's in like new condition. There's no chips or scrapes or dings or anything like that. Just I mean, a couple imperfections that you would get in pottery, like you always do. But. I think it'd be pretty with flowers in it. Same thing with this blue one. It was three dollars, and we're selling it for nineteen ninety five. There's a few like imperfections in it but nothing crazy and super cute i like the cobalt blue color i'm gonna put this one over yeah i'm gonna take this because this is a painted right. item i'm gonna i have not popped over to question a minute can they still see you yeah they can still see me looks like we're good on questions i had to put my sweatshirt on because some kid turned the air conditioning down to 66 and it, it is magical it wasn't me but it was magical it's not magical it's cold <laughs> All right, next up, milk glass. Never found one of these. This is an Indiana glass piece. There are some imperfections like underneath in the middle, um, but it's got a ruffled edge. Honestly, I don't think anyone's worrying about that. The manufacturer probably wasn't either. It's really pretty. It was $1.50 and we're selling for $22. Let me bring it close and see if I can show you the detail. Show them the ruffled The white edge. stuff usually doesn't show up on camera because it like blinds the camera, if that makes sense. But see how it's all blurry? Oh, there we go. We got it. Look at that. It's hard for me to see because Zeb has, we are, the reason we were late is because our laptop wasn't charging right. 
And so Zeb turned the light down on the laptop. So if you see me over here like this squinting, it's just because- I'm just trying to get it to run less power because the actual power cord is broken. And so we're using like a makeshift USB-C situation. It like <laughs> it broke on um, like last week or two weeks ago. And we just had it actually it. broke when we were at Debbie's and I've been milking it along. That is a long time. Yeah. I've been at Debbie's for a while. Okay. <laughs> um, hand carved candlestick looks like it might be mango wood. I can't tell. It's a dollar fifty, and we're gonna sell it for sixteen ninety five. I gotta get a drink. This yes. one, one of my favorite candlesticks I've found this year. We'll say this year because I've found some cool ones. <laughs> um, dollar fifty. It's gonna be nineteen ninety five. We're gonna paint it up, give it a new life. the The paint job's not bad, but the distressing just looks like someone took a screwdriver and scraped it. So we're going to fix that. Rhonda says that. there's nothing better than laying in bed at our camper in the woods and shopping on Jamie Ray Vintage. Shop it up. Camper in the woods shopping. Clearly they have internet access. I'm digging that. I'm, I got to figure that out for myself. <laughs> right, you want to show them your little key thing? Yes. Key holder. This is cast iron and I believe like wrought iron welded to it. Um, I just like the shape of it. This is like kind of like a prim more primitive uh, cedar box. It was $4 at the thrift store. It's going to be $19.95. Not doing anything to this one. I like the paint job and chippy finish. And it does have a hanging hook on the back. It's ready. For your um, keys and your mail. Somebody said jewelry. I think I pronounced that right. Jewelry said she likes my sweater. We actually sell these. I don't remember where where what I was doing and I coined the phrase junk and air. You were laying in bed in the morning. And it hit me? No, the website told you how much inven our inventory was worth. Oh yeah. So it like calculates like <laughs> how much your stuff is worth. A lot of it is paint and products. And I was like, Zip, Zip, I'm a junk and air. And we have a million dollars worth of junk. There are the phrase. According came. to the website, we don't, we haven't actually tallied it up. We're not that organized. No. Okay. So Zeb picked this up. It's $2 and it's going to be $29.95. This cool little blue urn. Now we're not painting this one because you like the color on this, right? Yes. It's kind of like a, it's like a muted baby blue color, but it's leaning gray. gray. Yeah, yeah. It's leaning towards like a gray. Um, and I like kind of like the plaster and the glaze finish on it. I just thought it was good. Let me see if we can. Yeah, on camera, this looks white. Just know that it's like a grayish blue. It leans blue, like a gray that pulls blue. Maybe you can kind of see it. Maybe you can't. Okay, you want to grab that. Did you tell them how much it was? Yes, $29.95. Okay. Somebody, somebody said, I love my, oh, Marsha says, I love my Periwinkle wall tin. That one that we, that was already painted. Oh, yeah. So this is cool. This next item coming up. It was in somebody's cart and I was so sad that they had already picked it up because I love like the filigree detail in here. And then they put it back where they were like looking at it, deciding if they wanted to keep it. And I was lurking in the corner waiting for them to put it back. And then as soon as they left, I grabbed it. If you don't know, that's Thrifter Rules 101. If you think you might like it, pick it up, put it in your cart because high chance the lurker is going to come by and just snag it. <laughs> no, he put it in his car. He took it out and put it on the shelf. No, I'm just, that's what I'm saying. Like, I've done that a lot where I'm like, oh, they got that and I wanted it. And then I kind of like, you kind of follow watch on the to store. see if they decide on it like, or not. Are they going to buy that? <laughs> it's pretty. I would never go up and be like, oh, you got that before me. Can I have that? That's rude. Oh, Don't do no. that. Don't do that. No. I wouldn't. I've had All people right. do it to me. Yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm unlikely to give in. I don't know. This is like 50. This must have been in. Uh, the collectibles because it has an orange tag. Yeah, maybe. It was two dollars. But it comes with this and electric candle. It's gonna be forty nine ninety five with the um, fake candle. It, needs a it takes three triple A's. I have not tested this. This is bonus. Yeah, I didn't put that you were getting it, but you are. Um, if the, if it doesn't work, then no harm, no foul. But it got the beautiful glass. I like the bottom. I do not like the top. So we're gonna I'm gonna repaint, repaint the top, the top because it's like a weird machine streaky job. And then just clean everything else up and it'll be forty. It looks like someone took 60 grit sandpaper and just it's not good. Marcia says yes, lurking and side eye watching. Um Zeb, you want to show the Afghan behind this? Because that actually already sold. This is it probably was... one of the better uh uh what do you call it? It was the second item to sell tonight. It's twin size, it's beautiful, like the detail. All the little squares and the different colors. It, the scalloped edge. 
It's in very, I would say very good condition. It has a couple little snags. It's older. It's not but a snag. But most of it. The, um, it's not a snag. Oh, it's That's, where they it's end It's where they end the yarn. Oh, yeah. okay. So, like, there's not a snag in it, but there's, like, you can see where the yarn is ended, if that makes sense, on a few spots. Um, no, it's in really good condition. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's one it of the was $20, ones found. and I was a little apprehensive to buy it, but I was like, nope, I'm going to sell it for 80 and if somebody doesn't want to buy it, I'm all... Someone knew it. what it was worth and scooped it right up, number and two of the, the night. And it was the second item to sell tonight, so sold for 80 bucks. I'm glad I picked it up because somebody really liked it. The first item to sell tonight, what... I won't show you. What do you think the first item to sell tonight was? I don't even... Oh, this little dog? Nope. Although the dog did already sell. Oh, really? Our cute little paint floral, like, this is like... Uh, it reminds me of... Uh, home interiors made these frames. I didn't paint it. It was already pink. They put the cutest little floral in there. They use Zeb's hot glue trip. It Look needs hot glue again. They didn't do. They didn't. No, do it's so not coming hot. out. It's a little loose. Oh, okay. Zeb's gonna fix it for you. It's looser than I so like. So dollar fifty, and I sold it for sixteen ninety five. And Zeb's gonna put you a fresh bead of glue. Yeah. Well, That's they missed problem. with the glue. Like, they didn't even glue it. They just put the glue on there and didn't actually glue <laughs> half willy it. Oh, willy-nilly? Yeah. All right, where's the paint stuff? I got it right here. Okay, because that's not getting painted. It just needs to be fixed. All right, next up, cute little hermetic bottle. It was $1.50. It's got, like, um, folk art kind of flowers on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I can make it focus. It's going to be six ninety five. dollars My nose itches. There we go. Oh, now you can really see mm. it good. Isn't that so cute? Okay, next up. This is like, I call this a chinois, like uh, print. I don't know. It's just like the, what's that called? The blue, flow blue, flow blue mm -hmm. on the sailboats. And I couldn't find this exact teapot it doesn't have any maker's marks but it's absolutely beautiful and so i sometimes people say how do you price things i'm like you know what i'm just gonna go off of what i think the value is like there's not really any chips that i can see could be a flea bite i'm missing um it is it does say 96 i think is that does that mean it was number 96 or made it doesn't in 96? look like a 1996 this doesn't look modern no um, that's the only marking on the bottom and it's going to be I don't think it's 1896. It's not that old. No. Um, and I don't know. It's, but that's like an older, like style of writing. Mm -hmm. down there. And, and someone hand wrote it. I think I paid like $2 at the thrift store and I'm selling for thirty nine ninety five. And I love this teapot. It's just pretty. I love how it's like angled, like instead of square, like where the handle is. Mm -hmm. And it's just fun. And a little loop dupe on top. All right. She's about to keep it for herself. I know. It's She's going to talk herself right into keeping that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm like 99% sure this is actual gold because you can kind of tell how shiny it is. It's not gold paint. It's like the gold, um, I don't know, the gold filigree. All right. Believe it or not, I picked this up mostly because I knew if I didn't pick it up, Jamie was going to pick it up. Uh, and I was trying to trick you with the whose card is whose, but everyone is getting wise to how I thrift and how Jamie thrifts. You guys know it's really They did pretty well. good this week guessing cards. Yeah, they did. <laughs> so uh, we're just going to repaint it gold. So there's a few spots where it was the gold a dollar. is coming off. It's going to be uh, $21.95 when it's all done. It's nice and thick. Like it's a big, hefty cherub. It says Matamora, September 89. There's another thing under here. Let me see. Matamoras PA. Ironically, we used to sell these in the shop. They're creative co-op. I saw these anywhere from $20 on up. I think I paid like $2 for this. I can't remember. Maybe $1.50. And we're selling for $14.95. Just an enamel sugar jar. It's got like the cool black. It's, it's always, not actually old. It's got a little chip on it. When you get the black or the blue. Ooh, watch out. Or the black and the blue combo. That's always really great. Cute little hand painted rooster. I just like the reed, the, or the reed handle. So cute! It's got little feet on the bottom, and it's gonna be nineteen ninety five. And I think this was a dollar fifty. It's just really dainty. We got all the teapots today. We also got all the cups and the glasses. Lots. My of mom's them. like, I'm pretty sure those came from like a like a place where you buy food and you could get the these. But I swear that when I looked them up, 
they had another name to them. I don't know. I don't, doesn't really matter to me where they came from initially. They're super cute. I paid a dollar each and I'm selling for $5.95. They're definitely like retro on the verge of vintage. They got little, like bows. little bows and the little snowflakes. And they're like a nice weighted glass. Not too thick on the bottom, just a little thick. All right. So also we will be announcing, uh, let's give us about 15 minutes. We're going to announce the share winners from Facebook. So um, be sure if you're on Facebook to hit the share button because we pick two people every week and we send them happy mail, something fun and free. And we'll ship anywhere it's legal to ship to. Anywhere. As long as it's legal. Why don't you show the platter? Don't you oh. hold it by you? Okay. So this is a Golden Glory um, Bone China. And I think it says Hammersley made in England. Yeah. So these actually sell for quite a bit. I am selling it for quite a bit less than I found it. How much was it, the price tag? Um, we are off? selling it for $29.95. You picked it up for six. For six dollars. I think I saw them like 50, 60 bucks. It's just really pretty. The gold is, it's in really great condition. We picked it up at the Heber Valley Thrift when we went over there. They have really great stuff there. Yeah, they do. Sometimes okay. you pay for it. It's not necessarily cheaper, but they got good stuff. So the tumblers are sold individually. I don't know if I said that, but they're $5.95 each. All right, next up, these are from Heber Valley Thrift. They were, and they were 25% off. These were $8 each. These are like antique hand turned. Um, I've heard them called water jugs before. They're not necessarily watertight, some of them, just because they're that old. Um, and these ones are $29.95 each. Mm -hmm. And then this one, this one is the big mama jamma and it's $49.95 each. I've actually found similar ones and carried them in the shop for like 50 bucks each. So I thought this was a good price, $29.95. And I've never found any this big. This one does have, well, it looks pretty good. You can see that it was turned, like it's got the like where the chuck was on the bottom. I don't know. I don't know the origin, but they used to like haul water and stuff in these. This was $12 for the bigger one. It's $49.95. Yeah, you put a little rope around the lip. That's why they have that there. And then you hang it off your stick and haul water. Did we ever get this price figured out? I don't know if we did. I might just be teasing you with this false crap. No, put that off to the side. I thought that I'd priced it, but I'm not seeing it. Okay. Right. We have a lot of teapots. Next so. week. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Let's show them all the silver. So this one's got a little ding on the top. It's priced. In important. the past, I have tried to like straighten these out, but I end up just like breaking them or dinging them up more or just snapping the whole thing off. So I opted to leave it alone. We're selling it to you crooked. You can do what you want with it. Um, instead of like $49.95, we're only charging $29.95 because of the the crazy top here but honestly if you're if you're just like displaying this or something if you want it to look pretty up in your cabinet most most people aren't even going to notice that it'd be between well, you and me i would personally just rip this off and put flowers in it oh or you just leave it open like that and put flowers in it you know either way all right so this, this was eight dollars We have, so somebody called this like a mixed drink pitcher. Uh, um, it's Wallace is the brand, silver plate, made in USA. It was $8. I did get it 25% off. We're selling it for $28.95. Again, this is really beautiful with floral in it. It has uh, like the it. handle on it. it. It almost reminds me of like one of those you get like at a surplus restaurant supply store, except for this is really thick up here around the lip. Those are usually like stainless steel and this is silver plated and the handle is a bit fancy it it's actually cool. looks like something to me that you would get like uh water like ice water in, in like a fancy restaurant mm -hmm. it does have like a couple little scratches on it but those if they bother you could be buffed out okay i didn't know what this was but zeb bought it <laughs> how much did you pay for this the sticker's gone i think that we got this at Heber Valley. it was too. like a dollar fifty it's for putting a little like tea it, yeah it's like a little sterno it's like for, you put a little tea light in here and then you can control the heat to like keep your food warm up underneath. It's, it's uh, going to be nineteen ninety five. It's copper. Okay. Next up, we've got two pewter um, teapots. They're both very heavy duty. I think the maker they're American made, but it's like um, 
goodness sakes. The Henry Ford Museum. Woodbury Pewter Urge. <laughs> Um, this one was $15 and we're selling for $16.95 and it was 25% off when I got it. And then this one was $15 and I got 25% off and I'm selling this one for $59.95. And this is the same thing. This is the Woodbury Pewters, although this one says the Henry Ford Museum, but they're like the same kind of style. And then the next... I'm just reading comments over here. We got 757 people watching right now. Between YouTube and Facebook? Yeah. Sweet. Appreciate you guys sharing it out. All right, next Did up. Did you show both of these? Mm -hmm. we, we picked this up for 75 cents. I think that's a pretty good price. Cute little silver plated bud base, and we're selling it for $12.95. And then this, I didn't realize how much it was because this was, as I throw it, <laughs> this was $12. This was $12. This was $5. I thought, because I saw it all together like this, that it was all $5. So I was like, oh, that's a great place. So price. So She's I actually like, yeah, I'll do that. $29 less 25% for the set of three. And I'm selling it for $49.95. Still making a profit, but not quite the profit I thought. <laughs> but it's fine. Super cute. Matching set here. I don't know that the like the plate isn't matching, but the creamer and sugar are definitely Yeah, they matching. have the same handle. Found a lot of good stuff this this week for your Nancy home decor Nancy says she's needs. been to the Henry Ford Museum. Where is the Henry Ford Museum? Do you know? I'm, I'm not. Well, I, obviously Nancy knows because she's been there. Do you know? Not off the top of my head. I'm assuming it's like up yeah, north yeah. in the in the uh, Detroit area. Maybe not. No. Yeah. All right. This lantern. I love the galvanized lantern. Detroit. Yep. Nailed it. Um, we got a magnet to keep the door closed. It was four dollars. We're selling it for thirty four ninety five. It seems like it's heavier on the bottom. Yeah, it's got a heavy. It well, I just I don't know. It just has a heavy uh, feel to it. The glass can actually come out pretty easy. You can just bend hey, mom, it out. Mom, we can hear you on your the phone. Oh, my mom's been to the Henry Ford Museum. Oh, okay. Hopefully they can't pick up because you have the volume full blast on their phone. <laughs> she don't care. She doesn't care. She, my mom is like, she's been to the Henry Ford Museum and she wants you to know. <laughs> she's so cute in her cute little jammies. She should have come out here so you could see her little jammies. All right. Next up, $5. I paid each of these. So I paid $5 for this, $5 for this. And I'm selling, why are you laughing? This is your mom. She's like peeking around the corner. She's like, I don't want to be seen because I'm ready for bed, but I've been to the Henry Ford Museum, just FYI. I, so my dad's from Michigan <laughs> and my mom lived in Michigan a couple of years with my dad. But the funny thing is, is when they left, they never went back. Because They went to Arizona because mom's from arizona and they went back and the, <laughs> dad was like listen it's oh I'm i guess because we're mic'd snow. up they couldn't really hear i could hear it, it was yeah, really it was, distracting her phone was like on full blast because she always watches us in the other room all right so next up uh 14.95 for each of these and i paid five dollars each less 25 percent so like four bucks each and these are uh, the same <laughs> style so i'm guessing this one has yeah, its Henry little Ford museum for little these spoon. They're like a uh, pewter. Yeah, all pewter, all from the Henry Ford. Now, Museum. if you go, we're going real crazy. This handle on this matches those bigger pictures in the back. Well, so the smaller one doesn't say Henry Ford. These ones do. So these are probably a match set. The tall one and then the cream and sugar are all Henry Ford. All right, this but is they're just, all from the same company. Yeah, this is just a pressed tin little urn. Jamie called it a bowl situation. We are going to, I don't know how much it was. I don't know how much you got this for. I don't know. I like to take these off, but I think leave them, I'll though. leave them because it's going to look very French with them painted. And everybody always says, leave them on. Yeah. And I figure if they don't like it, then they can take them off. They can take them off. It's going to be $28.95 when we're all done painting it up and making it look old and crusty like we like. So the um, so solid wood candlesticks sold. Did we already show that one? Yeah. yeah. And somebody just bought our little sugar dish with the, the scoop. Oh, that it was, was like my favorite thing. I don't actually know that those go together, but I felt like they did. So I was like, they're going to go together. Yeah, we're going to make it happen. I, I made an executive decision. Here, show decision. them the mercury glass. Also, the little, um, if you guys watched our live video on, 
what Friday when the paper came out, we had a little vintage frame and we sold it. It just sold tonight. We're actually not going to show it because I'm pretty sure we already dropped it off the I'm, shop. Yeah, I'm like 100%. So it had like, <laughs> I tried okay, to- not 100, like 99.8. Yeah, because we already put art in it. So I think we dropped it. Yep. It's either that or I set it somewhere else, but it will get you. Thank you for buying it. I just want to be like, if you're looking for it, it's not going to be here. Yeah, we don't All have right. it here tonight. Mercury glass okay. from Pottery, Pottery Barn. Barn. I don't know what the original price was because they took that off from Pottery Barn. I paid $1.50 at the thrift store. It's mercury glass and then tin and tin, and we're selling for $19.95. What I like about this candlestick, what I'm always looking for, is that it's like a little pedestal. You could put a bowl on here. You could put like a little bird, a little nest with a bird. Like it's perfect for vignettes. Let's try it out. I wouldn't put that bowl, but that's a big bowl. Yeah, that's a little much. I do like just a plain bowl. <laughs> Anyways, so cute. And this was $19.95. Okay, so the, I picked this up just, you know, I liked that it's plaster. Well, it's probably clay of some sort, but it looks like plaster. And I liked the repeating design on it with, it looks like oak leaves on that. Very good for fall, it's ready. Is it like a trivet? Like, do you put, yeah. do, can you not put hot stuff on it? I think you could put hot stuff on it, it's just clay. Yeah, it'll be $22.95. Someone didn't even ever get the original sticker off of this. We'll we'll work on uh, that. This one doesn't have a price on it, Zeb. Uh, I didn't see is it that in from there this week. Yeah, it is. We got all those canning jars, and it but was. But that in was there. last week. Well, maybe I pulled it out, and I need to take it to the shop. All right, we're gonna separate that. It's nine ninety five on the website because I'm pretty sure that was from last week. But okay. maybe it's sold. Who knows? Little... Who really knows? Apparently not us. That's why we have amazing. That's what happens when you get like 85 items to the show in an hour. <laughs> well, that's why we have amazingly organized people to work for us. So yeah. this is actually heavy, like heavier than it looks. Yeah, I don't know that it. I don't know that it's China. Maybe it's the bone China because that feels like it's heavy. Price Kensington, made in England, June P and K. It was ten dollars at the thrift store, so it was like eight dollars because it was twenty five percent off. And we're selling it for $28.95. And it's got like a little chip in the spout, but otherwise really good condition, really pretty. I love the crazy, um, super pretty. And I like that. What kind of flowers do you think these are? I don't know. Those look like, I don't even want to guess. What do you guys think? I was going to say like a lily, maybe jasmine. I don't know. I don't know. Those are, sky's the limit. Maybe so many made, teapots tonight. Some maybe someone made a flower up because when I draw flowers, I totally just like make random shapes until I'm like, yeah, that looks like a flower. Let's go with that. I don't know what kind it is, but it's a flower. Um, this little brass planter had some uh, foam in the bottom. I think I can get this off too. So we sell a lot it's of like, these brass ooh, planters. They're usually job. made in India. They're like vintage from the '70s. Sometimes they have floral in them, and we have to like pull it out. And um, do you got the price on that? Oh, yeah, it, we paid two dollars. It's gonna be nineteen ninety five. It's got like the heavy like brass the handles on the end. Like the ones I was selling were like skinnier oval. I like the fat oval on that. I one. mean, it's got a couple little dents and dings. You know, a it's probably fifty plus years old at this point. So give it, give it a break. Linda says that she thinks that the flower is a gardenia. Gardenia. You might be right. That looks All like right. a gardenia to me. All right, next up, we have these cute little um, creamer and false graph mugs. They were 75 cents each, and I believe that they're $4.95 each. So the creamer, I would charge more for, except for it has a little bit of chip in it. So it's $4.95. And then all the little, like, coffee mugs or tea mugs, whatever you want to look at them for. And they've got, like, this cute little Christmas design on them. They're all $4.95 each. And I think there's four of these and one of these. Got you're it. trying to get that out? Oh, uh, it's like this glasses. gross gum stuff that they use to hold the foam in. It's not gum. Well, it's like gummy, right? Yeah, it feels like gum. You know, if like we, old gum. Like um, sticky tack. The reason I know what old gum feels like is because we deal with it a lot on like the bottom of old chairs and benches. Our job's not glamorous. I mean, it is. <laughs> I am always is. pulling gum off of those, the bottom of desks. So pretty glasses. These are, these are like champagne size. And these are wine and they were 75 cents each, which sometimes I pay like $2 um, for wine glasses. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. They're nice and heavy and I like the turned kind of fluted bottom. Um, these are $7.95 for the big ones. 
and $5.95 for the little ones. I can't remember. They're called Fosteria, Fosteria, Fosteria Jamestown. When I looked them up on Google reverse image, these are definitely something that my mom would have bought because she loves this style of glass, not uranium glass. They're not quite that. No, old. it would be really cool if they were, cause we got a lot of them, but no. I picked these up at the thrift store. They were a dollar each. They have nice thick bottoms, which I like. So that way they're, they are not like no tippy. Yeah. Um, and so $2 for a set, and I'm going to sell them for $12.95. They've got like a pretty good topper, like a little bit of teeny, teeny, tiny little rust, but not bad. Totally usable. I'd still use them. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Oh, this... it's, it's paused. Uh oh. Hold on. And it's been almost paused for 30 seconds. Hold on. I don't know what's going on. Did that fix it? Hold on. I'm going to turn this off. Wait for it. Can you guys hear me or is it just like paused? Hmm. I don't know. It didn't overheat. It's not hot. Hang on. It I'm working on it. Completely. Now it's not paused. It's off. Okay. We're back on. I'm working on it. Did that work? Yep. All right. Sorry, guys. I don't know what happened there. Technical difficulties. Okay, they could hear us the whole time. Okay, show must go on. Can you can you see me now? Can you see me now? All right. Picture froze. All right. Okay, everybody's saying yes. Okay, so if you're if the picture is still froze, you might have to hop out and hop back in. But a lot of people on Facebook are saying that they can see us now. Okay, thank you guys for letting us know. Whew. I'm always like nervous. Like, are we going to? Are we going to be able to like get through a live video without technical difficulties? What do you? It says like 1823 on the bottom. That's of not computer. what it's from. No, it's just a stamp. Like Peter Rex like, is the brand. Since I think they've been in business since that long. They may Jackie's, not be in business anymore. Jackie's Craft Shack likes my dance moves. <laughs> this was a dollar fifty. This little pewter tray. Love the handles on it. Um, it's going to be sixteen ninety five. All right, if you're on, how many of you guys watched the video from Friday? We did, for whatever reason, that video didn't get a ton of like push out. So if you haven't watched it, please, please, please go to our Friday video. We redid a desk and a nightstand for Eliza and some thrift flips. So if you ever want to see what we do with all of our thrifted finds, you need to watch our edited videos. Occasionally we'll do a live where we paint a ton of thrift flips, but most of our thrift flips are painted on our edited videos. Every week we put out one on Friday. Yep, I already did. Okay, I'm moving them out of the way. I'll move them. Okay, little um, platter here. It's $14.95. I paid a dollar for it. It says Copo $38.55. I have no idea what. It's got like a little teapot logo on the bottom. I just thought it was a really beautiful little platter and it's $14.95. I'm wondering if it has like a gravy boat in it because it would have had like, it could have had a big one. I'm not sure, but super cute the way that, that one is. And then Zeb, why don't you show them your leaf dishes that you bought? I Because those are really popular. They're actually more valuable than I anticipated. Not like priceless, but no, I was like, you did good because okay. I passed them right up. I just like the yellow. I think what throws you off is that they're yellow with the brown, which always you're always like, eh, I don't love the yellow with the brown. Um, but these plates here, we've got five of the large plates. They're Taylor Smith, uh, versatile of improved, made in the USA. There's the little logo back there. They were a dollar each for the big plates. And then, so we've got five of those. They're all sold individually. We like to sell stuff individually because maybe when someone's got the whole set and they need one or two to finish their set up. Well, a lot of people are like getting to the point where it's just like, they, it's just them and their husband or just them by themselves or whatever. And so then they can just buy what they need. So these ones, we've got five of these. The little ones were 75 cents. They are really pretty. You know what I like most about them? is the little berries yeah well and like, they're in really good shape detail. like the gold is in great condition around yeah, the these rim these probably didn't spend any time in the dishwasher i think they spent a lot of time in a china hutch not actually being used yeah and then even the little teacups have like a leaf inside here they're like this really kind of muted pastel yellow 
and then the gold rim around there it feels really classic and then they've got the leaf inside so we've Leslie got said, i think they're all what 4.95 for each piece leslie said the fostoria might be worth more than 7.95 i looked it up and that seemed reasonable to me so what is underneath what on the bottom or i don't know I also think it's so cute on these teacups that the design six is of on the, the inside. So you can see the design like when you're drinking. Yeah. That's cute. All right. I'm going to, well, let's see. Okay. Make sure there's no questions. Move these out of the way here. There's a funny story about the candlesticks. I'll let Zeb talk to you about the candlesticks. I passed on them. These and ones DIY them already. These ones here. I did here. not like the glass on them. So there was like a glass dome on these that was like blue seated glass, but it was it was like a bad repop, I guess. Like the blue was off. It wasn't right to make it actually look like old or antique. It just, you know, um didn't didn't like it. Someone's repainted these. These were made in the Philippines. They were three dollars each. Well, three and two. I thought they were both three. The set is going to be $34.95, but I, right there in the thrift store, I just, twist. I'm like, oh, that's kind of loose. I just twisted that glass little like basin that had it on there and I re-donated it back to the thrift store. Just left it right there on the shelf for them and I bought these. <laughs> They're so cute and they look kind of like salvage. So we're going to leave them as is. I think if it were me, I might run a little bit of sandpaper over them just to make them look a little bit more distressed. But they were three dollars each, and we're selling them for thirty four ninety five for the set. Three and two. Three and two. Okay. I'm just seeing if there's any questions. Jean says she has those. So Jean, do you have them with the globe, or do you just have them as is? So uh, we always pick these up when we find them. Anthropology that I know of no longer makes them, and this design is really popular. When I looked it up, I couldn't find any for less than twelve dollars each. So. Looks like they're possibly getting harder to find. I sell them for $9.95 anytime I find them. So just a little bit less than what they're selling for like online. And it was a dollar. All of all of the B, all, all the letter mugs. You know, we were in anthropology just a couple weeks ago, and I was a little upset. I even complained to one of the uh, sales representatives there. I'm like, listen, you guys got like 18 different styles of mugs in here with letters on them. There's no, like they stop at W. There's no X, Y, Z mugs. I'm like, they're like. Well, I, why it could be Yolanda, but yeah. how many women, which Yvette? predominantly women stop, shop anthropology, have a name started with Z? Zelda. Come on, work with me. How here. many women do you know Zelda that are real? Anyway. That are real. And there's a few Zeldas out there. All I'm saying is. When I told them that, they were like, oh, well, I think you can order the individual letters. We just don't keep them in store because we never sell them. We don't need 30 Z mugs. I'm like, yeah. I need 30 Z mugs. You have a pottery wheel. You can make your own and you can stamp Zs on them all day long. Z it up. All right. So cute little. <laughs> I'm off my soapbox now. I'm all right. <laughs> bronze candlesticks here. They were 75 cents. And we're selling for $19.95 for the pair. They're a little bit worn, which I like, but we're not painting. We're just leaving them the way they are. I think they're pretty. And I think with the holidays coming up, if you don't have candlesticks, I would start investing in them because I love to have like a little dinner and you put your little candlesticks in them. I think these would look really good with like something just like small, not overly huge centerpiece. And then these on the end of them. I have two sets of candlesticks that I keep for myself. I have two brat or copper candlesticks that I picked up in France the very first time I went in 2019. And then I have two big silver candelabras that I think I paid $15 for and they're worth a ton more. I thrifted them and we use those. At Halloween, I put black candlesticks in my candelabras so they look all like old and Victorian and spooky. Try not to be sad, this guy's already sold. Oh, hi Jonah. Jonah is Caitlin's little boy. He's watching us tonight. It's Jonah a won his flag football game tonight. Uncle Zeb and I were there to watch him, and he did such a good job. I love all football. Like, I love flag football. I love high school football. I love fourth grade football. She won't watch, watch pro him. or college no. with me because she doesn't got a kid playing yeah, in there. My favorite sport is whatever I'm watching that my kids are in. So, like – Whatever it is. So I don't mind sitting watching. Lest you think we're running out of junk. Don't fear. Don't the show the goes on. The junk's going to keep coming. We, it's like a mega haul. How they're much all would mega the hauls. entire set of yellow dishes be? Um, well, they're $4.95 each. We have five, five, and six. So do the quick math. 
on that, Jamie. Come on, right now on camera. Like seventy five dollars. Yeah, like seventy five ish. Like I four ninety five times sixteen. <laughs> I'm going to show you this. The examples I saw online were in pristine condition and running anywhere from like $25 to $35. This one is pretty worn. It got used a lot, which is actually why I got it. So I actually passed it because Homer Laughlin, while collectible, I was like, oh, it's probably not worth it a lot. But Zeb loved it. It was $3. It does have a chip here that hides under the lid when you've got the lid the crack on. on the bottom. And there's a crack here and a little crack here. But I I just thought it was really great. I mean, it's it's we got it priced at uh, what is it, 1995? I think 1895. So we didn't uh, we didn't break the bank on it. But I think it would be really cool just plant it with something. It's kind yeah, of small. Honestly, I think it would be really cool with like little onions in the windowsill, like chives, because you know, those don't throw some. like super deep roots. Oh, that would work. Um, Miss Sarah says, I think soft jelly dishes are pretty, but she's, she's 65. So she's a little old school. I 65 isn't old. I just turned 41 this year. The older I get, the less old 50, 60, 70 is. Cause I'm going to be there soon. <laughs> um, somebody else had a question. You want to show something that well, we have a bunch of new people on here. So if you have questions, well, thanks for joining let us, us tonight. No, we're super excited that you're here. Um, somebody else said, Oh, Tina says she's over sports. They're always on in her house. We actually don't watch a lot of sports in the house. I, I like keep track of the pro teams and what they're doing, but I don't actually watch a lot of them. Those games are getting like, they're just so commercialized. And by the time I don't have three and a half hours to invest in sitting down. <laughs> no, because we spend 10 watching, hours watching our kids play football yeah. and cheer. <laughs> and watching TV and just, you know, like I got other things to do. So I keep track. And then I, we watch the boys and I, we watch the playoffs and stuff. All right. You want to show that one next year? Yeah. Obelisk. Ob obelisk. Obelisk. I'm going to say it like all the letters sound in there. We're going to paint it up. <laughs> the the palm trees are going bye-bye. This was originally $67. We're painting it. It's going to be $21.95. That's why I laugh when people are like, I can't believe what you charge for something. Somebody charged that. That was on sale. For $67. Originally $100. Like, where was this at? Bougie City? I don't know. I don't know. But it's going to be really and cool when ugly. we paint it up. It's got palm trees on it. I guess that's okay. I mean, it's, I guess it, maybe like it was pretty, but it's going to be cool again. You know, for something that's just architectural detail that, I mean, you could use it as a paperweight or a doorstop, I guess. That actually, that's I would not probably. Heavy enough for a doorstop. No, that totally worked as a doorstop. Oh, yeah, it is heavy. Is um, it actual wood? I like think, for $100, it best be wood. No, I don't think it's actual. It's resin. That's pretty solid well, resin. The next time you think I charge too much for something, just remember that that was in a store once for $100, and then they marked it down to $66, and they thought that was a deal. And someone bought it because it ended up at the thrift store. <laughs> next up, corbel shelf. This actually goes like this. It's got a little hanger on the back. I will paint all the sides, so that way if somebody wants to use it this way or whatever, like you could put books next to it, they can. Um, and it'll be $28.95 once it's painted up. It definitely needs a paint job. It's kind of boring one dimensional we were out feeding buttercup today and jamie was looking at her and she's like is she even pregnant like did that even take how do you know if it took you never got her actually tested and she scared me for a half a minute and i was like well, i actually don't know 100 percent if she's like for real pregnant but she hasn't gone into heat because technically like her due date i had her due date a couple weeks early i did the bat math bad um she's technically due on the 30th. So we got like a little time to go and she'll probably be late because that's how my life goes. But she is way bigger than she was last fall when I got she's her. And pregnant. I don't think it's all just feeding. Like she's got her butt and then her belly goes out like this and then she's got her shoulders. So I'm like, I'm like pretty sure. Uh, and I'm not going to spend this close in the game. If she's not pregnant, I'll be like wildly sad, but and I will have been lying to everybody for nine months. But... She's either very pregnant or very bloated. Yeah, which she was not because well, I was just feeding her for the evening. We felt the baby kick. Yeah. Or she's got some serious gas issues. Is it we... gas or bubble? Is it gentry's over like, here we laughing? Felt Is it bubble of the baby? This 
I think I paid four dollars. It had plastic wrap around it. We took that off to take the picture. I think it was four dollars. Uh, thirty eight ninety five. I don't know why I randomly brought the cow up. I was just thinking about her. I'm like, man, Zeb's I hope always she's... thinking about. That I'm like, cow. man, I hope she is pregnant because I'm ready to be back. I feel in like milk. I need to remind you that we have felt the hook, so she is pregnant. We, we're ready to milk her again. We're so tired of store bought milk. Yes. Okay, so five dollars. Um, and this is like a really heavy, nice. Looks like terracotta. Um, yeah, it's made of terracotta and it's got like the crackle finish. Perfect for like a fruit bowl. And it will be $42.95. I actually really like the sides on it. I like the handles. Okay. You guys. Tell me a little birdhouse. This, the, this goes down inside, but if you're hanging it, this is probably my favorite birdhouse I've ever found. It's got the galvanized roof, and then it's not even mm -hmm. straight. It's like it's like got the ridges here. And someone whitewashed it for me already. You know I love the whitewash. And it's got chippy paint on it because it's lived outside. Um, it couldn't get any better. It was $2. We're selling it for $34.95. Um, something else about the vet. We could have a vet check come out, but it's not like a human where like you go to monthly visits with the doctor. I mean, I guess you could, but in animals, it's pretty spendy and she hasn't had any signs of distress or ill will in her well being, So she's fine. She's, she's good. If there are any issues, we'll get the vet out. It's not like when you could take her to the, I mean, you could. I am the vet. Yeah. Not really. I am going to trim her hooves. I was going to do it one, like. This one I don't think got listed. Yeah, I didn't see Caleb, it on did there. did this one get listed? I don't think. If it's it got an it. F in the corner. I'm going to sand that all down. It's maple. Yeah, or it's no, so it's cute. walnut. Sorry. And I like I'm the leather strap on it. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'll get this done next week. I'm going to put this with that bowl. Where's the bowl that we can never seem to actually get listed? The fall but tobacco? my parents are coming into town Wednesday. We got to go pick them up from the airport and I'm going to just wait for my old farmer dad because, you know, I've never done it before and I don't know that he's actually trimmed hooves either. It's not something you usually have to do with range cattle, which is mostly what he's had. He's had a few dairy cows, but growing up, but you know, if you let them out to pasture during the day, they wear their hooves out. Um, anyway, her hooves were long when I got them, and they're even longer now. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to wait for the wisdom of my father to be here, and we're going to do this together. Because worst well, case scenario. You could also get the wisdom of Cooper's dad. Yeah, he could. He well, I've, I've talked to him quite a bit. He's never trimmed hooves either. Oh, but he knows cows. Yeah. You know who might? Have we even thought about Jeff? Jeff Meek? Yeah. Jeff might have done it because he used to be a dairy guy. Yeah. Like he grew up in a dairy. We're gonna call Jeff tomorrow. I'm gonna call okay. Jeff. <laughs> we paid three dollars for this. That's not the right price. I think it's. I don't know what we you wanted to do. We're gonna paint the frame. Watch yeah. out for the random uh, like farm animal. Thirty nine ninety five. <laughs> Late so we're in gonna, the evening. We'll take the mirror out, paint the frame up, distress it back so you can see all the detail, and it'll be thirty nine ninety five. The frame's really great. It just looks like it's kind of chintzy. The color it is now, the paint will give it some more weight. I think. This just looks like it's like cheap silver plate. It's super cute though. I like the style and it's sold. Okay, let's show them the olive tree. The olive tree actually sold too. The only thing we're gonna do to this is this is a little loose. I'm gonna stir oh, it up. a lot of loose. So, and the moss is actually like all this little paper down here is in good shape. What I liked about this was all the verdigris, ver, is that it, verdigris? Yeah. Like the green and the layers, like this is exactly what we would do to something to try to make it look old and we found it already done. So we're just gonna make, we put some hot glue in here and push that down. We'll also take, actually, since it's disconnected, I'll take this in the shower and hose it off, get the dust off of it. And it sold for an undisclosed amount because there's no price on it. I think I just pulled the price off. You've been doing that tonight. I don't know. I, well, I'm like, I don't like that blue. Why did I put that on there? I think it was 34 there's a few of these over here, though, All so right. I don't know. Well, $34.95, that is true. Okay. This was $2. I'm going to – it's from Ikea, so it's not, like, super old We're going to make it over. It does – it is functional. I put some water in it. Uh, but I am going to rust the galvanized uh, so that it's not so bright and shiny. I know some people are like, oh, leave it. Well, leave not it. rust, but like age it with toilet bowl. Yeah. Cleaner. And then we might like stencil it. If I sand it, I can get rust on there. So I yeah, might sand it and then toilet bowl cleaner it. And then we'll go from there and see what Ms. happens. Miss Sarah C says that she likes my plan. I like it too. 
Like I like any, we actually have another olive plant in the shop that's more expensive, it's like bigger. And I had to remake over the vase. So I was super excited to find this one with the vase that I liked the way it was. It's really rustic. All right, this is <laughs> a giant that? little bell. That's like a weapon and there's, grade jingle There's bell. a tiny bell in there that's like stamped with stars. Anyway, I thought it was awesome. I don't know what I'd do. Maybe like hang it on the front porch or something. If you had a really big Christmas tree, you could put it on. You there. know what? I think it would be cool with like a big garland with this in the middle and then like smaller bells graduating yeah, out. Really big one. Yeah, you know, you got like a staircase you need to do. Hold on, my thumb's in there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it was $2. It's going to be $16.95. 16 $16.95 does not come with Zeb's thumb. No, please not. <laughs> okay, next up, this really big coat rack. Um, I really like it. Let's see if I can get this over here. Do yeah. come on. Got it for the hardware. This is like moving on me. There we it's go. It's moving. What? Don't rip it off. No, it's. Is it, is it still secure? Okay. These these aren't cast iron. They're like uh, tin. It was five dollars, and it's gonna be forty two ninety five. It does like need it. a little adjustment. A couple of events. I'm gonna try to fix that before we send that out to you. Do a little tack welding. No, I'm just gonna do some careful bending. You don't want Zeb to do it. like he's really good at a lot of things. I'm not a good welder. I just haven't done it much. Is the problem? I can weld. What but... in all your spare time you haven't figured out how yeah, to? Yeah, I focused more on woodworking than I did on welding as a kid, and even even as an adult. So. My dad's a really good welder. He used to do underwater welding on the piers off of San Clemente. Oh, this, one. this is my favorite. Off this... of San Clemente Island. Did you know that this had a hole in the bottom? Yeah, and I'm cool with it. All right, show them that. <laughs> this is, it already looks like pretty, it's like a good old aged look. They did a good job on this one. It's going to be $40, $49.95. Right, did you say if we're painting this or not? I don't yeah. know. So we're going to bring that back, but it doesn't, it's just got like some scratches and stuff. It does have a hole in the bottom. It looks like someone did it on purpose. I'm not sure why, but I think it looks, I mean, if you put your stuff in there, it's going to look great anyway. Actually, it'd be really cool if we decoupaged it with that vintage floral, the big decoupage paper and did oh, the yeah. movie side on this one. I'm not promising that's what's going to happen because I might not remember by the time I actually do it, but it would look good. All right, we're going to rapid fire these books because it's $9.29 already and I'm losing my voice. So we pay $2 each for all these books. Um, these two are going to be $6.95 each because the book itself is not super valuable. I just bought it for the color, The Art of Sinking in Poetry and The Russian People. Just thought the color was really pretty on those. And then this one. Um, this one was $2. It's the Eggermeyer's Bible Storybook. And I actually like the way it looks without the case on it. And it was... The dust two, cover. Well, it was $2, and we're selling it for... It's got, it's got some wear. Someone's read it. It's, yeah, I saw them for more, but it's, it has some wear. It's got a name, Smith Oviat. But it's got really cool Bible stories in it, and it's going to be $12.95. like it. So these are really cool. One of my favorite frames today of no, not today, but of recent purchase. I'm going to take the blades, the Iron Orchid Designs blades and some salt wash, and I'm going to make this look like old plaster, not necessarily loving the stencil on. This is wood. Um, so I'm going to do the uh, the old plaster look on it's there. It's weird. Like, I, did they spray paint this down so long? Yeah, or? I'm not sure. And then this inside is like got some really great detail. So I'll put like probably some past some old pastoral art in here. Maybe one of our decoupage papers that we've got. And then I'm going to blade this and make this look like old crusty plaster paint situation on that. And then this one is the same frame. And I'm going to make a match. They're going to be $48.95 each, but do different art. But the, Why was that the, one $5? This one was $4. The paint finish will match. I don't know, but they gave them to me for $4 each. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. All right. Probably someone else was pricing. They were close, the, the but not quite. Next item, I'll let Zeb show you. I, I was when like, I saw this, I'm like, no, no way. I'm like, are you kidding me? No. But I actually saw these go for hundreds of dollars, like multiple hundreds of dollars. This one is a little bit scratched up. And it's um, it's got like a kind of loose handle, which I'm going to leave alone because I don't want to mess this up. But the butterfly subject matter was really good, and we paid $4. Try, like, 
I mean, these are amazing. I did not want to leave it at the thrift store because I just felt like that wasn't <laughs> like, so these are all butterfly wings. Rose says, my husband is from Brazil. I was there last spring. Harder to find these trays, probably because they sell for hundreds of dollars. Um, Look I, at the, like the iridescence on that wing. So, so pretty. Um, and so we paid $4. We're selling it for, how much was that for? Um, I actually didn't write on that. Oh, eighty nine ninety five. Okay. So I was like, I don't know that I have the people that are going to pay hundreds of dollars for something like this. And I paid four. So I thought $89.95 was a good price. I did find some like just under a hundred, but not as pretty as that. Like the butterflies on that are really gorgeous. Oh, they're protecting butterflies now. So they can't. Yeah. So it's vintage. Yeah. So. I'm glad they're protecting them because butterflies do good work out in the woods. They're yeah. great pollinators. I love butterflies. We were looking at property this week. And we put in an offer, so we'll see if it gets accepted. Uh, but there's been some back and forth, and they're they're hemming and hawing, and they're at the very top of our budget now. So we'll see. But there were lots of butterflies on the property, so I like that. Somebody spray painted this. Um, we paid four dollars for it. I'm going to. It says Afro Wall Pack Wall Plaque A P H R O. I don't know. I'm going to repaint it because I don't love the spray paint job. And then it's going to be $59.95. And I'm going to French country this situation up. And it's going to be really good. All right. Is this the last item? That was the last item that we have tonight. At least right. that we had priced and out here. <laughs> All right. Well, it was super great to spend Saturday night with you guys. Next Saturday, I'm going to be in California. Um, but we are planning on... There will be a, a video no matter what, but we're planning on just pre-recording the live and then putting it up as a live video on Facebook and YouTube. So the live chat will still be there. Zev will be on the live chat. Caitlin will be on the live chat. It'll just be pre-recorded. So it includes me because I will be in California with Debbie um, for the new release of her IOD paint inlay. Yep. And Zev's going to be we'll here have all our regular with our videos. very pregnant cow and his parents. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you guys want to shop, visit jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. We'll see you guys on the next episode. And we had some technical... Oh, Facebook share winners. <laughs> oh, we almost Sorry. forgot. Oh my goodness. Okay. We will announce this again another day. Caitlin did type it. It's Julie Nichols and Suzette Crosby's. If that's you, email info at jamierayvintage.com. And we'll give us your address and we'll mail you your happy mail. Don't, Thanks, don't, guys. don't, don't type it in the chat. Email us. <laughs> I bought the small box. Please don't paint it. I don't know what small box you bought. I'll have to look it up. Terry, would you email info at jamierayvintage.com, Terry, just to make sure. Cause I don't remember having a small box. We're not box. painting till Monday. So you got till then. So email Caitlin and we'll double check for you. Thanks guys. All right. We'll catch you.